the video. Before we get started today with our little discussion, I would like for you to hit the subscribe button. The community is growing. We're almost at 500. We're almost halfway to 1,000. So the goal is 1,000. So please subscribe. Please hit that button and join the conversation because there's a lot of hot conversations going now on the bottom of some of my videos. And, you know, I enjoy it. I enjoy jumping into it and talking with you guys. So with that being said, I need to explain something. And what I need to explain is, is this. Yes, Pinstripe Buzz was created as a Yankee channel. I'm a Yankee fan. I'm a hardcore, diehard Yankee fan. Um, I haven't missed a playoff game in three years, or two years, rather. Um, I have, have had season tickets for a long time. I'm at a lot of games. I watch the games at home. Um, the games are always on when in season. I never miss a game, and, you know, I enjoy the game itself. But just because this is a Yankee channel doesn't make me not a baseball fan. I am a baseball fan, and I'm a baseball historian. And I love the game for what it is. And I can go back and talk about any team at any point. And I watch every team at any point. Whether it's a random Wednesday night and it's the White Sox against the Royals. You know, or it's the Texas Rangers against the, I don't know, Colorado Rockies in an interleague game. Like, I will sit down and watch that. And, you know... I created this channel to be able to talk about those things and have discussions with people and, and really dive into it and really break things down. Um, you know, my career outside of this channel, I do that every day. So, you know, why not do it about something you love? And, you know, where I come from, I've only known Yankee success. Um, I'm part of that generation that's seen the Yankees in the playoffs pretty much every year. Um, success, relevancy, things like that. But at the same time, I'm not one of those Yankee fans that expects to get their way. It takes two to tango. And the Yankees have seen a lot of failure in the last, you know, 15 years. They've won one World Series, knocked out of the playoffs, not making the playoffs, you know, lineup questions, team, a lot of controversy around how the team is built, um, you know, and growing up, my favorite Yankee was Tino Martinez. Um, I'm left-handed as, as you guys know, if you guys have watched some of the videos and, you know, growing up, it's, that's the position I played. You know, there's only a, a lot of positions that a lefty can play. They can pitch, they can catch and play the outfield. And I, I dabbled in as a left-handed catcher in little league, but you yeah, obviously that wasn't going to stick, but you know, growing up be, and becoming the player that I became, which was a pitcher. You know, in high school, I played all over the field where I was where I was allowed to, obviously. But when I went to college, I specialized and I still pitch today. But, you know, being able to be inside of the game and constantly being around people that knew the game really helped me with my foundations and where I come. And I coach. I've been coaching for 15 some odd years now um, and you know, being able to coach and, and have success as a coach, you know, it really helps you when you look at your team as on in your major league team and really look at them for who they are and really take a step back and say, okay, well, you know, this is, they need to do better at this. You're not looking at it through a biased view because you love that team, you know, and do I have some Yankee biases? Of course, who doesn't have biases when it comes to their team? Um, but it's just about, you know, understanding where I'm coming from when I break things down. I break things down because of the fact that I love the game. You know, I'm a love the fan. I am a fan of a pitcher's duel, of a one nothing game when the starters are both in in the eighth inning. You know, I enjoy that. You know, and with outside of Tino, you know, I enjoyed watching Jamie Moyer pitch, especially at the back end of his career when he really had to figure it out, watching CC figure it out, you know, watching Nestor, Tom Glavin. Greg Maddox, you know, these guys who were crafty and smart and they were successful because they outthought people. They didn't blow it by you. And, you know, learning the art of pitching, you know, really helped me with the game and really helped me learn the game and the situational situations that this game presents. You know, baseball is a chess game. It's not, it's not a fast paced, hard hitting sport. It's a thinking man's game. You really got to think, you know, you got to think about how a move you make affects the game in the fourth inning if you make a move in the second inning or how you know you want to know what you're going to do in the sixth inning when you're only in the second inning you know who's going to pitch in the sixth if the starter's not there what's going if we're leading what are we going to do here 
you know, thinking the game through. And when I give my opinion on things, it's a trade or a rumor or a roster decision, you know, I'm looking at it as a baseball person. I'm not looking at it as a Yankee fan. Yes, I cover the Yankees and I give my thoughts on what the Yankees should do. But the take that I gave yesterday on the Reynolds situation with the extension, I would have said that if I was a Red Sox channel and the Red Sox were in on Reynolds. I would say the same thing, you know. It's very. It would be consistent. It wouldn't be the fact that I'm a Yankee fan not getting his way and I'm throwing a temper tantrum about it. It's not it. You know, am I going to be heartbroken if the Yankees don't trade for Brian Reynolds? No, I won't be. You know, because, you know, that I don't think that's the right fit. And I've said that before. You know, and I come from a family of Yankee fans. You know, my dad was a fan of Thurman Munson. My, my grandfather was a fan when Ruth played. So we, we're generational. And, you know, my brothers are the same way, but we're baseball people. We love talking about the game. We love talking about the inner wars and, and inner battles inside of the game. You know, really breaking it down, looking at, you know, what situ- like after a Yankee game, you know, we'd say, why didn't they bunt? Why didn't they run here? Why did they take this pitcher out? Like, we really talk about the game. We don't, you know, through a Yankee prism, of course, because that's who we're watching. But if we watched a random game, we would do the same thing. Oh, they should bunt here. Oh, why? they? This guy should come off the bench to pinch hit. You know, and having that ability to do that really allows me to give a educated opinion on the situations at hand. And if you get to know me over the journey that we're about to go on, you know, you'll see that. But I wanted to get it out there now so that you guys know. And maybe you feel a little bit closer to the channel and you'll feel more like you're getting good information because that's all I want to give you. I don't want, I want to give you good information. I want to give you information that you can use that's tangible you know, facts, evidence, things like that. And it's important because that's the whole point of this. It's to create a conversation. This channel is not about me. This channel is not about um, what I think. It's about what you guys think. It's about the audience and how the audience takes what I say and leaves a comment and a note about it. You know, and then I can either defend my point or say, hey, listen, you're right. I see that. I was wrong. You know, things like that. And if I was wrong in a situation, I would admit it. You know, you know, I don't have that ego that's like, I'm always right no matter what you say. You know, that's that's not the point of this channel. And, you know, I'm hoping as we grow, as we continue to grow, you'll see that. You know, and, and I never feel like I have to explain myself, but I want you guys to get to know the person, me as a person. You know, where I come from. what Where am I pulling from when I give an update or when I give a opinion, right? That's all it's about. And that's what it will continue to be. Whether that point is controversial by calling out an organization that's not the Yankees, or if it is calling out the Yankees, because I will do that. You know, I'm not one of those Yankee fans that's entitled. You know, as a Yankee fan, you know, it, it, that's what it, you get that comes with the territory, but it's the furthest from the truth. It's not about that. You know, it's about putting a product on the t- on the field that is successful, that wins championships. And if it's not the big name, it's not the big name. You know, I just want smart baseball people running the organization and smart people. Like, I'm not a fan of Boone. I haven't been a fan of Boone since he was hired. You know, I, I enjoyed Girardi to an extent. I enjoyed Tory to an extent. You know, I wanted the Yankees to go get Buck when Boone's contract was up. You know, I, I'm, it, it, that's but because I don't see, I see Boone as a puppet. I don't see Boone as a manager. You know, he goes by the numbers. He doesn't, you know, go by his gut a lot. And I hope that you know, he learns to do that a little bit more and ditches the numbers behind him. But, you know, other than that, you know, that's all I got for you guys today. You know, it's a slow day, so I figured I'd give you guys a little biography on me. Um, But again, this channel is about you guys, and it always will be. So don't hesitate to disagree. Don't hesitate to call me out. Don't hesitate to do that stuff. Be obviously respectful in the comments and do it in a respectful way, and I will respond to you in a respectful way. You know, I speak through sarcasm as well. So, you know, sometimes if you get a response, you know, look at it in that sense. I'm telling you the truth. So about my personality. But I do love doing what I do. I love creating content. I love talking about the Yankees and baseball in general. And I will continue to do that. Maybe over as as the time grows, I'll start covering other moves that teams make. And not just do the Yankees to prove to you that it's not just about me being a Yankee boy or a fan, a, a blind Yankee fan who, you know, doesn't see other people's view on teams. And that's the furthest from the truth. But if you uh, agree with that and you see that, hit the subscribe button. 
you know, help me out in that sense. If you think that I'm full of crap, leave a comment in the comment section below. I don't believe you. Prove it to me, you know, and I will. I got no problem doing that. So enjoy the, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.